Explanation of dip switches. There are two rows of dip switches. One located on the panel in the front of the machine on the side of the panel. The other row of dip switches are located on the main circuit board. There are eight dip switches located in the center of the main circuit board. Explanation of dip switch settings located on the side of the front panel of the machine. Dip switch 1 and 2. These are the cutter block on timing settings which go as follows. If 1 and 2 are set to off, cutter block on time 25 milliseconds. The hammer will stay down, stay down 25 milliseconds and then release. If 1 and 2, 1 is off, 2 is on, cutting block on time is 50 milliseconds. Cutter block will stay down 50 milliseconds and then release. One off, one on, two off, 100 milliseconds. Same scenario. One and two on, 200 milliseconds. The uses for the one and two dip switches are if, for example, the cutting surface becomes dull, it may require more down time another and to cut through the material so that's why you have the options of 25 50 100 and 200 milliseconds for the hammer to stay down dip switch number three located on the side of the front panel this one allows you to set the feed bracket either front position or feed back bracket in the back position First, turn the power off. Second, turn on dip switch number three. Okay. With dip switch number three turned on with the power turned off, turn the power on, hit the trouble button, at that time you'll see that the feed bracket moves to the front position. This is front load position. This is easier for the operator to load her material or garment, but cycle time may be increased. Dip switch number four. When it is on, production counter counts down to zero. With dip switch number four turned on, turn the power on, press the trouble button. Zeros will light up on the panel door. Press enter. The zero will start to flash. This is so that you can change the number depending on how many garments you wish to sew. For example, if you want to sew 81, press the arrow key up, press enter. The next zero will start to flash. Using the arrow key up, go to 8, press enter. Press enter again, you'll move to the next zero. And then one final time. At this point in time, you are able to sew. Production counter will begin to count down. At the end of the program, <laughs> a buzzer will sound and the zero will come up and start flashing. After pressing enter 
81 will appear on the window. You are able to sew again and countdown will begin. Tip switch number five located on the front panel on the side is for single pedal operation or two pedal operation. With dip switch number five turned on, this is for single pedal operation. For example, when we hit the left pedal normally, that will drop the clamp. The machine normally will not run until we hit the right one. But when dip switch number five is turned on, we are able to use one switch to do both jobs. And we are still able to raise and lower the foot with the other button. Dip switch six and seven on the panel are lo uh, for single pedal time on these times are 0, 0 0.1 second, 0 0.2 second, and 0 0.3 seconds. This will delay the start of the machine according to the uh, way the dip switches are thrown.